Want to know how to use an LLM in your Vision Pro application? You can do something similar to what I'm doing right now. What is today's date? See so here, and I'll make this a little bit bigger so you can all see. Let's push this back a little bit. Well, it uh, definitely hallucinated, but the idea was sound. Uh, looks like I asked for, oh, what is today? I didn't say date, uh, so I didn't say date. So you can see here it looked, uh, found the US dollar to euros, but let's try something else. Who is the president of the United States? And I probably should put a progress bar in here for sure just so we can see the difference in things that are going on. But it does return, the President of the United States is the executive branch. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then it talks about the latest president and on and on and on. What you're seeing here is the response coming from Amazon Bedrock. I've done videos in the past of responses coming from OpenAI, and I will soon have one coming from Gemini. This is coming from a server uh, that is completely self-contained and you uh, manage, own the model and uh, um, also the deployment of that model within your own AWS console. This is one way to do it. But if I wanted to run locally, like we can do that as well. So let's stop this and let's run another one. Oh, I had it running on the Vision Pro. So let's stop that. Let's just use this simulator. Having it running on, on the Vision Pro itself is a little shaky. And so it uh, makes for not a good looking video. But uh, if we want to see it running in the actual Vision Pro, um, we can do that at the end. When you see here, this is taking a little bit longer to build. And the reason for that is I have included the model locally and I'm gonna explain more about that at the end. I just want to give you the videos first, uh, the demo first, and then come back to what I did. Let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see. Who is the president of the United States? And I've made the response be somewhat sarcastic. So when it does finally come back, you'll see that it is, uh, oh, who's the president of United? That doesn't help. Who is the president of the United States? doesn't like the word states. Let me try it again. Who is the president of the United States? There we go. All right. Um, yeah, so you can see what's doing uh, this one. Next word, completion. There's also a chat model. Um, that you can use, but it does come back with the answer. And I've also asked for the response to be somewhat sarcastic, meaning that the the prompt initially was a sarcastic person. As you can see here, it does does come back eventually with Joe Biden, uh, and and definitely it's making up a lot of stuff here. But what I do like about this is this is a large language model running locally. This is something that I can uh, fine tune myself and redeploy. Uh, so that that is very interesting. You do the same thing with, with Bedrock and to some degree OpenAI, uh, you could do the same thing. But uh, personally, I, I like to be in control of my models and my data and those kinds of things. So having the, the model run either locally or on a server in which I own the model is uh, pr preferable to me. So now that we've done that, Let's go look back at what I've done to make these two things work. We'll start with the local model. And there's several ways you can go about this. Um, one way that I've done a little bit of research and looking into is the concept of using uh, MLX. And there's an MLX library here that uh, you can take a look at if you uh, search on GitHub, GitHub for ML-Explore. It'll take you to this uh, machine learning research on your laptop on a data center by Apple. Um, 
super excited for this because this is a this is what Apple uh, would like us to use when uh, starting to look at their own models. So I'm going to put out an entire um, few videos on this particular MLX. But before I go off and do that, I wanted to take a look at another one that I've been using for a while, and that is uh, LLM. So you can go to uh, Swift Package Index and take a look, uh, uh, search for LLM, and it will bring back, and this is one that I've been using for a little bit of time now because it's been available and MLX is somewhat new. But uh, it does explain to you how to go off and uh, include your model within the bundle and then also invoke the model. You can also download from Hugging Face other models that are GGUF models. And uh, as you can see here, this is an example using iOS and also how to initialize that those models within the context of your application and also sample code. This is exactly the, the user experience that you saw running was exactly this within Vision Pro. So there was just slight some slight changes that I had to make, but not many. And then it also describes how to build out a chat client. If you were to try to have a chat client with memory, this is how you would do so. So that's one approach. Like I said, MLX, I will be going over specifically. And then the other thing that I've used within these two applications is uh, uh, transcribe, so or, or the ability to transcribe speech. So speech recognition API has been around, long, around a long time in iOS and uh, um, iPad and, and Mac OS. Now it's available for Vision Pro as well. And uh, you're just bringing in uh, AV Foundation and speech. And when you do that, uh, you, you do need to tell the user that you're going to use the microphone and that you're going to use their voice for speech recognition. So it's going to record a, a, a bit uh, snippets of their voice in order to transcribe to uh, text. So you do need to re request that permission. You need to handle if the user says no, not permitted, then um, you need to allow other ways for the, the application to run. One thing you can do simply is disable the microphone button and leave a text box. And in my case, I just, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't go through the entirety of the user experience because these are uh, proof of concepts and not necessarily apps. You can see here it initializes audio session and uh, and then a transcribe session using um, a speech recognition task. One thing that it, I had to fiddle with is figuring out whether the, the speech recognition needs to be running locally on the Vision Pro or not. And so I added in um, uh, added in uh, a little a little bit of code to say um, transcribe locally, and that did work. But uh, I ended up not needing it to get out. But uh, you you might run into that scenario where it asks you whether you you want to transcribe locally. The other thing, um, if you're going to run this in debug on your laptop, you also might to need to ensure that your your laptop keyboard has uh, dictation enabled uh, as well, so that and then and that a a language default is set. So if you see an error that's like a, um, I think it's like a 1101 error. I saw that for a little bit because I didn't have my default um, keyboard set, and then I also was using my microphone for different purposes, so it had a problem finding my mic when I wasn't on the Vision Pro. So anyway, um, the and and so that's that's what's happening here. To just uh, quickly, we'll continue just walking through this other this other app first, and then back to the uh, Bedrock version of this. Uh, and I like the Bedrock version because uh, it allows me to do a bunch on the server that I don't need to have running on the client. Um, but when I get into the MLX uh, version, you'll see that it's just as it's it's very very responsive and really really good. But uh, so let's go into this LLM real quick. And you can see here, it's very simple. I am also about to implement the, the, the chat model, but this is, this is just to get showing the, the example. And uh, you're an AI with emotions, you're sarcastic, um, but then I would replace this 
uh, chat ML template template with a pre-process with history um, and then that will give us the history back as well so say we wanted to continue along the same thread with the the, the person talking we can do that and then simply I invoke that by saying uh, in the start and end recognition I go off and say all right now that I have the transcript um, send that uh, make that the input to my um, my uh, model and then uh, here I have the bot res just wait for the response the input so when the uh, response happens it, it happens and then it stops or or I can stop it manually by hitting the stop button excuse me and uh, uh, and, and from there it'll give you a response with the the bedrock um, and and setting this up I should probably mention that you need to add the package dependency for LLM Swift and how you go about that as you grab the repositories or here's the repository place that into the uh, package URL here and you'll see something like this come back and it'll say which platforms are supported in this case vision OS is, is supported so I'll click on add package and uh, then we're done there what it's going to do is bring back this um, this package and its dependency which is llama.cpp which is uh, um, a um, C++ version of a uh, es essentially a model uh, library for uh, usage and then and then it'll be available in, in the application so now coming back to the this bedrock one is a little bit uh, different in that we're going out to a location in in on the web in this case your own bedrock instance I'm gonna go in, in a complete tutorial on um, on Amazon's uh, website about how to invoke bedrock from the vision pro that's coming soon probably in the next month but just to give you a heads up on how to do so simply what you want to do is the same process of you want to download the uh, AWS uh, Swift SDK and same way as you as we were looking at before what you're going to do is click on file uh, add package dependencies and instead of this this one you're going to uh, bring in the Swift SDK for AWS put that there and then you'll and you'll click on add packages and the same thing um, as we've done in previous videos and uh, if you search for um, AWS uh, getting started with Vision Pro you'll see that I wrote a uh, blog about how to to get your uh, access key and secret key we'll, we'll do the same thing again I'll do another blog on uh, Bedrock and Vision Pro but uh, same thing here speech recognizers exactly the same I haven't changed anything the only thing that's different here is that we're using bedrock instead of the LLM the local LLM and uh, we're using llama 70b chat here as the the model and so on the server side we would have to have that that model deployed and that user has access or that access token and secret has access to this particular uh, instance so uh, I need to tell it what region I'm in and also uh, you know which which model we're going to use each model has a specific uh, request and a response kind of format so this is the JSON request here uh, in this particular case for um, Llama 2 this is how it's defined you can take a look at all the other uh, definitions if you are familiar with AWS uh, console you can go into SageMaker uh, and take a look at all the definitions for requests um, there or you can also go into Bedrock and, and look at the request similarly but where this is not a tutorial about that this is more just here's how you get started so again you can list all of your models that you you have access to your access key and secret is stored in your uh, product so if you click on product and scheme and choose I'm sorry edit scheme then you can see what um, what 
the um, environment variables that you have set, uh, just like I showed you in that previous video about uh, getting started with uh, um, AWS on the Apple Vision Pro. So uh, just a just a kind of recap of what we did here is this is the uh, the local running model, the the kind of sarcastic model. So I can um, say something like describe the seven continents. I don't know, making up stuff. And it will attempt, you know, after some thinking, and this is actually one of the, the bigger models that we, that you can, you can bring down, but after some thinking, it will come back with a response. This is a particularly difficult one. So I, um, you know, who knows when when a response will come back, um, if ever. But uh, oh, maybe I stopped the. No, that would help if I was running the. Oh no, it's running. All right, just taking a long time to come back. But uh, um, it, you know, it it would eventually come back. Here it goes. The the seven continents topic. Blah 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 blah. Um, and I could stop this if I want. But it's going to go off and and describe all this stuff for me so i can imagine many many apps and and uh you know, definitely in the process of writing a lot of these that would allow you to to teach people as it were about uh various things so like i could say something like the seven continents is wonderful and then i can have this description coming back but in another window i can have um the the continent show up you know um you know, based on the description of the of the response, I can go off and get other data using another LLM um, to go get that data. So this is this is a a way of being way more interactive, being way more personable, and uh, and taking advantage of the windowed space. I could open new windows, open volumes, uh, animate things in response um, to this request. By the way, it's a fairly long video, so I'm going to stop this one here, but uh, um, look forward to having more videos uh, about this topic. And for code, I'm not releasing code for these because I am also I am you know still work for Amazon. I work for Amazon, so the code when it comes time to release it, I'll be releasing it on Amazon's uh, spatial computing website, which I'll include the link below. Uh, thanks. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Uh, I love making this content, but I need to know that you love it. So if you made it to this point, please subscribe to me and uh, we'll have more of this content coming.